Greetings, everyone. This is the Hipster Snack, and today, from the Unsorted Horror Collection, I am trying out Concrete Tremor. This is the fourth game in the compilation, and uh, we're just going to get into it. I've also just given up trying to read the little, like, cute descriptions. Uh, I kind of like going in... I am starving. Oh, hello, John. I haven't seen you since Faith. Uh, quick. Awesome. I have my very own mush machine. Hi. So you see from your room. What what do you see? All I see is a wall. You know someone with the roof and rats, right? Really? Yes. So where are we? I have no idea. So you guys don't know either. I should check the roof. Alright, guess I'm finished with my mush. I kind of dig this whole noir aesthetic we have going here. So, like, we were brought here either against our will or under some mysterious circumstances. No one seems to know what's going on, but it seems like we're free to just kind of walk around. Okay. Doesn't really seem to be anything stopping me from going. Oh, yeah, I'm already at the roof. Wow. Alright. This is definitely a roof. Wait, why did it cut out? What? What? I had no intention on jumping, I just wanted to look! Am I playing Battleship? Yeah, I'm playing Battleship. It's one five block. There's one four block, two three blocks, four two blocks, and two... twelve? Some number of one blocks. So, what do these white dots represent? I see the numbers, but I don't see letters. Can I move this? Do I just have to intuit? Oh, is it? No, it's not lost. I'm assuming it's just A, B, C, D, E. What do I do to confirm? Oh. Nothing changed.
See, I do like that the numbers are laid out, but there's no alphabet grid. So I have to just kind of intuit the, in the way that's like most logical. I'm assuming that means a miss. But I also can't update my board to reflect the guesses I've already made, so that's a problem. Wait, I did hit something? Oh, it doesn't update till the turn is over. Okay. Oh, okay, so dots are misses, X's must be hits. Completely ruled out 10. Like 10 is completely useless now. Well, I got something. I hit E. Th Wait, no, I hit 3C. 3E would be here. So, does that stand a reason that 3D is also one? Let's try it. Oh, that just raises the stakes so hard. Uh, uh, that's. Sometimes I want to double-check my aim before I assume, because I have a general sense of where the letters are supposed to be, but, like, without a quick reference guide, I want to double-check, because apparently missing is really, really bad! <laughs> I don't like that. Um... love how easily he did that.
This is Ender's Game stuff right here. Not a complete mess, but... guy. I barely started doing damage, basically. not going well. He's hitting me very consistently. Might as well eliminate the A's from the equation. Okay, I did some damage at least. <sighs> All five hits are perfect. I think the AI is cheating, guys. And then my building gets blown up, yes? The problem I had here is it was all RNG. It was his RNG versus my essentially guessing numbers in very similar fashion. The problem is, it felt very much like he already knew my, where my buildings were, and he basically just got to go hog on me the entire time. I'll be honest, this is probably my least favorite of all the games in the collection of the four I've played thus far. I really kind of expected more. It was just battleship, but you have an opponent who can cheat. Um, I'm not really interested in revisiting this for the other ending. Sorry guys, this episode is what it is. Hopefully number five will be better. I'll see you guys in the next one. Greetings everyone, this is the Hipster Snack, back with Unsorted Horror Anthology. And today, I'm playing the fifth game in the collection, The Tartarus Engine. I think this is the last one in the collection, unless completing this one unlocks another one. But we'll see what happens. As far as beneath Hades, as far beneath Hades as heaven is above earth, construction began the foundation of a great computer. Decades later, the first reality of eternal torment was Im imitated by the machine. The year is 2009, and the Tartarus engine was created. Ah, the futuristic year of 2009. Time passed. Remit workers from exploiting the machine for their personal gain. Multiple protective measures were set in place. Four technicians devised a plan and executed it into the night. There is no such thing as absolute security. Oh, I'm one of the engineers, I guess. Where's number four? You really think it'll work? Yes, for 
Technically true, it looks like a server rack, so... Yeah, get out of here, normie. engineers or not really like I don't know, it doesn't strike as hard drive, guys. For engineers, we're not very good at thinking on our feet, are we? Okay. Yeah, this looks wholesome. Especially as they mentioned something about prisoners. Walls and invisible walls. What do you want from me? Floor splitter. Input. Oh, it's a door. Jeez. I do. Ah. Can't see anything, Captain. Right, let's see, I assume we're still moving. Now I can actually prove that. This game sure does love its sense of scale. So is this some kind of like mega ultra prison where we basically like deliberately the Matrix our inmates? Remember, you have to make it back by midnight. So I have five minutes to pull this off and get back. Like, what, what happens if I don't? Eleven 
Titans are at eight. Door, I'll just have to make one. Having some kind of context clues would be just, like, amazing. Ah, I see. that faster than I thought I did. I think that would have, like, what? Seven minutes to retrace my steps? Which might have been just enough. All right. Get out of here before the power is cut. I did my part just fine, so... That should have done whatever it is we were trying to accomplish. to calibrate the device in a moment. There is a much time left. Strap yourself in. All right. I guess this is my chair, then? I've almost got everything set up. All right. Which place are you running? Me one where you feel potatoes. Splendid. <laughs> what? Worry, it's just for a moment. I'll pull you out as soon as I get on it already. All right, see you in a bit. I keep associating that voice with Faith, the Unholy Trinity, ever since I played that game. Really, one of my favorites that I've done. Splendid. I don't understand. They managed to translate the nature of consciousness into mathematics and recreate it in a digital interface, yet they use it for... This. What event is this? Peeling potatoes. Whoa! I guess we're done? Alright. 
Is me a bit queer? Yes, me a bit is queer. Oh, I am setting up the cascade preset now. Warping in 30 seconds. Cascading the MTV in itself to exponentially increase the 1.2 meter of time dilation. Our consciousness will be stored in thousands of empty void branches until we reach the final layer. So... There we will have all the time in the world to draft our perfect presets. Making ourselves a I digital it paradise? I did not write it. I found it. I don't like that. Why would you just use... Why would you not deliberately handcraft something like that is what I'm asking. Work. Shit, it's in. Try to reach for the keyboard. Why? I can't move. I forgot to disable the order. We didn't want to keep one person on the it's outside. Out. It's pulling us out layer by layer. What the hell did you do? Why would we not have someone on the outside helping us and not being jacked in? Didn't even have a moment to say anything. Like, if you're gonna do something, like, this is Shadowrun stuff here, but it's like... Why would you not have someone on the outside of the digital environment to be a failsafe in the event something exactly like this happened? And two, why would we not go over where you got the code from before we got sucked in? Unsorted horror exclusive. That was it? <laughs> I expected, like, a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that was it. So... I like the idea behind that one, and I do like that you kind of thrust me into that situation again. I had no tutorial, just figure it out, intuit it by your environment and what the immediate need was. And that was good. That part worked really, really well. And you gave me more than enough time, but it felt like time was more pressing than we realized. So, I mean, well played on that. But while you kind of implied what the Tartarus machine or Tartarus engine was. In the end, I'm just feeling kind of like I thought that was going somewhere else. And it seems like it's being used as some kind of mega prison, but these guys had this idea of crafting their own digital paradise within the confines of the engine, which I find fascinating. It's honestly, like, um... I think the games were laid out in chronological order, but I think the ones that were actually the most horrifying were the first three. And the last two kind of felt more... Um, it's hard to put it into words. Like, I guess I should talk about all five now, shouldn't I? Uh, because, like, the first three had me on pins and needles the entire time, and I loved the ideas they were going for. And I also love that these games really do their best to, to not overstay their welcome. They kind of do everything in their power to be like, okay, here's the setup. Get to it. Figure it out. The only time you're going to waste is time you are spending to figure out how the game actually works, like what I did in Carbon Steel. I actually uh, got stuck for a little in the initial setup phases, but that's because I was a little too click-happy. Now... That said, um, the last two felt like they had really, really good potential as, like, novels or movies, but there just wasn't too much to the game. And I kind of wanted, like, a lot more of those ideas elaborated upon. Like, because Carbon Steel, there's, there's like two different endings, depending on if you uh, go with the Engineer or not. And, like, I, could, I couldn't I could beat Concrete Tremors. I tried a few times off camera, and I never could get the game to stop cheating. Because um, basically, it would start the game off kind of inept, and then it would figure out exactly where my buildings were, and then just annihilate me. And there was, like, no chance to recover at that point. Um, and this one, it's like... 
right when things were getting their most tense, the game ended, and I was left... Let me be clear. I like these games. They all have that real uh, industrial punk kind of vibe to them, and I'm all about that. But I think maybe, like, Tartarus Engine in particular ended before it should have. Like, maybe... <laughs> Maybe uh, it pulled the trigger too quickly. Because um, when I was getting my bearings and, and doing the initial puzzle, I was into it. And then we're strapped to these machines, and it's like, oh gosh, what's going on? Like, what did you do? And then, like, the plan kind of goes to ribbons at that point. And that was really cool. And then it just stops. <laughs> so that... Um, uh, I, I wanted more. There was such good build-up in Tartarus Engine in particular. Uh, but these are all really, really good. As always, the link to the Unsorted Horror Collection is in the description. The game is free on Steam. Please, you guys should try it for yourselves. Maybe there's stuff that I didn't do or didn't see, or maybe you'll even actually beat Concrete Trimmer, because I sure didn't. Uh, this has been The Hipster Snack, and thank you for listening to me ramble about these these amazing and really, really interesting games. This is definitely something that I'll be keeping an eye on if it updates in the future, uh, which I hope it does, because the the, the, the game's creator, Mike Klubnika, Klubnika uh, very, very talented game designer, and he has just absolutely nailed that horror environment and aesthetics. Great atmosphere, that real oppressive urban sprawl kind of vibe. But uh, this has been the Unsorted Horror compilation, broken up into convenient bite-sized pieces for your enjoyment. This is the Hipster Snack, and I will see you next time.